And perfect timing. Fantastic. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to the first in what will probably end up being anywhere from a... I want to say four to six part Planet Coaster series. I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided. It also really depends on, you know, how well you guys enjoy this, how much I enjoy it, um, and a whole bunch of other things, uh, including, obviously, with E3 this weekend, bound to be some games that get released uh, this weekend uh, for free. Throw that away for the duration of the stream so I don't look at it and get bothered by it. Um, yeah, so um, for the next... Uh, at least up until Wednesday, we'll be streaming this, and then we'll pro and then we'll also be streaming it again on uh, Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday at minimum next week. So we're going to do at least six parts of uh, Planet Coaster, much like we did with City Skylines. We did six parts, so we're going to do six parts. Seems to be a good number, um, so we're going to do six parts. Um, on top of that, in between that and next week's streams, you may also get a couple of things, including um, a Fallout seventy six stream. Uh, because Fallout 76 is going uh, free for a week starting on uh, Wednesday New Zealand time. So might be doing a stream of that maybe on Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday. Um, and then also with Xbox uh, Game Pass uh, coming to PC today, uh, there is a good chance that we might uh, jam and enjoy um, a good little bit of uh, PC gaming streaming goodness over uh, the next couple of weeks so yeah but e3 uh started today with the first couple of press conferences we are going to talk about uh both of those press conferences one of my thoughts on both the press conferences were over the course of the stream tonight we are also uh if you guys know me you might recognize i'm wearing a scuderia ferrari t-shirt uh it was the canadian grand prix um uh this morning new zealand time and as you can tell by my shirt i've got some strong opinions about it so we're going to be discussing that as well throughout the stream as well as talking to you guys, answering any questions you guys have, and all that fun stuff. Uh, before we get into the stream, guys, remember, if you are new here, uh, welcome along. My name's Jared Hazen. I'm a streamer from New Zealand, um, and I like to stream a little bit of everything. So, you know, there's something for everyone. Oh, by the way, oh, we'll mention that. No, I'll mention that a little bit later on. Um, if you are returning, if you are... Uh, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, make sure you do share the stream, guys. And if you are new, uh, do consider giving us a follow or potentially a subscribe. So, yes. So, tonight, we are going to be starting our Planet Coaster uh, series. I have cho We're going to be doing a sandbox. We're not going to be doing any campaign. The best thing about this is the sandbox mode. Um, and the good thing about that is, uh, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, uh, you cannot see the money. We don't need the money. Money's not an issue. We're playing sandbox, so that's not an issue. So we have ourselves an empty space. We're going to make the best use of the space we can over the next minimum six parts. I've got some ideas. I also don't have any ideas. So I will be taking suggestions from the chat for what you guys think I should do. Um, but definitely going to try and make the best park I can. I also, however, do believe that... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. The park, the available size seems pretty small, so I don't know if that is expandable. It feels like it should be. Hold on. Uh, let's have a look-see here. Oh, that's also inconvenient. The positioning of my face cam with uh, this sort of thing. We've named the park Bud World. Because uh, I couldn't come up with anything better. But if anyone has a better name for the park, please do let me know in the chat. And I'm also happy to uh, change the name. But what I want to do is find out how the hell we can expand the park. Because this seems really small. But then again, once we start, it may not be so small. I don't know. Anyway. Planet Coaster. Funny story for me. This was the game. Um, Alright. What we need is... Now I've got to remember how to... 
do this correctly because I know that there is a way to rearrange the location of the park entrance. And I've got to remember how the hell I can do it. I think, if I remember correctly, I click on... Uh... Lake building. Now, I do believe I can move it, because that's ultimately what I want to do. Uh, I actually want to completely get rid of it. Right. Uh, so we'll need a park entrance. Uh, we need the actual... We need the actual gate itself. Ticket booth. Nope. Nope, nope that's not what we want. That's what we want. Park entrance gate. Alright, so what we're going to do is... We're going to have... Okay, uh, yeah, park entrance... Where, where was it? Park entrance gate. Right, we are going to have... Uh... We need to rotate that. Uh... Slightly. So, I should explain my history of Planet Coaster. Uh, hold on, first of all, just... We'll... Just quickly turn down the volume slightly on the in-game audio. Let me know if it's too loud, guys. The check beforehand seemed relatively okay, but I wasn't like 100% happy with it. Now, is that straight? Nope. Whoa. That looks straighter. Angle snap. That looks better. Right. Actually, I'm thinking, actually, what we might want to do first. So, yeah, I'll explain my history with this game. Um, I... I uh, got onto this game thanks to a marvellous man known as Nerd Cute. There are a lot of people probably started playing this game because of said man. Uh, I am a big fan of Nerd Cubed. Um... Right, I want to adjust the width be slightly wider. Not that wide, but... And I don't think I want it that wide either. Go six meters. Yeah, right. Um... Yeah, I'm sure like most of you, um, I start, I became aware of this game through Nerd Cubed. Um, his, uh, gameplay videos of the game, uh, is what drew me to this game. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there, it was probably the same for you guys. Um... And it was one of the games that ultimately made me decide to get a gaming PC because at the time my laptop that I had was just not, you know, capable of running this game in whatever uh, way, shape or form you could imagine. So for me, uh, 
this game was one of the games. Whoa, hell. That was not what I wanted to do. Uh, this was one of the games that I got my gaming PC for. And surprisingly, have played very little of the game. Oops. Uh, have played very little of the game since first getting it. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this series was basically to encourage me to play the game. Um, really, that was the, the, the key reason for wanting to do it. Um, so yeah, one of the things you're going to notice is I am obsessed with symmetry. I'm also pretty OCD about certain things. So, you know, I'm going to try and make things look as good as possible. But, I, but also bearing in mind, I'm not the best builder in the world. I'm not going to be able to uh, do things probably as well as NerdCube does. But I'm definitely going to try um, if possible. Right. So... I think the only way you're going to be able to see that part is if you look straight down, but I don't I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Right. Um, let us... Right. Now let's build the park entrance. Kind of annoying that it has to be really small. Build another one. Yep. Gotta make sure we're on the same. Yep, beautiful. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, what you can do with eyeballing. Alright, now we are going to alter the terrain. We're going to create a little lake. The entrance to the park is going to be surrounded by a lake, I feel. Not a big one. But just a one. It's rain too, I need. We need to raise the terrain. Uh, we need to flatten to fill. Go. That will allow us to build the path. Ooh, we're not happy. All right, hold on. That. I think. Raise the terrain. Or. That part of the path. You know, so Planet Coaster was one of the games I got my gaming um, my PC4 and have played it very little you know relative to you know other games that I have on my PC which is surprising you know never thought I would play this game so little when I first got my PC but you know that's just how it ended up working but yeah what I, I always knew I wanted to do a Planet Coaster series and you know I felt now the time was right Obviously, they've uh, just announced Planet Zoo. Uh, I've mentioned on the stream before I knew about... I, I actually knew about that game for about three or four months before it was announced. Um, so, I was very happy when they announced that I was I was finally able to talk about it. But, um, yeah, no, it was a very, you know, very cool bit of news to see that, you know, finally, uh, you know, there was going to be a proper spiritual successor to Zoo Tycoon. Uh, obviously, we had the 2013 version of Zoo Tycoon, which, you know, it was fine. It, it was a... It was a fine game. I played it. I thought it was okay. But, you know, it wasn't really the greatest. I think it was designed in a rush. From what I understand, the development time on it was not very long. So, you know, that's just the way these things work out. But, yeah, I was very, 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 very happy to... Uh, see that game get announced. Alright, so... 
point is, you are not going to want to drop and fall down into this lake because fuck is it going to be deep. We might actually just bring it up a little bit so it's not so deep. Let's reduce the intensity a little bit there. Alright, let us see. Right, we want calm water. Put it at that level. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Right, and of course we will make that look all beautiful and lovely. Right, we want to have a wide path coming out from here across there. And then same thing over here. Right, and then that is going to go round in a reasonably symmetrical way. Alright, we want to come over here, do the same over here. I'm trying to see. Does that look equal? Mm -hmm. Like that for some reason. Wonder why. Doesn't like that either. Why not, son? Why not? Seems we need to lower the terrain ever so slightly. Just the intensity. Just enough to get the path across. And then no, that's not right. that being like that. I wonder if we remove this part of path and then rain, flatten the surface, size, flatten that so it's like that. Move that. Oh, that's an ugly path. First of all, not that big. Beautiful. Right, now we'll go with the big one. Why? I don't quite understand. Brain too uneven for path. What's that? Oi, 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 oi. I mean, we're not asking you to do a lot, we're just asking you to go over a fucking goddamn Alright, let's think about that. let's go about this from the other way then. like it's a little too long ish and 
That's not exact. I'm going to be so OCD about symmetry in this. Length. Fascinating. Interesting how, like, on the other side it's perfect, but here we just can't get it to work. Don't know why. This one's a lot sharper. Not that sharp, but... shallow either why is this not a working all right hold on let me try this use the size holy crap let me do this let me see if we can just get the path across then And da 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 It's probably as close as we're going to get it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Right, let's push down. We'll reduce the size. Increase the intensity slightly. Go under the sea. Make this work. Slightly finicky controls, but that's okay. Right. Is that water level the same? Yeah, that looks the same. So. I'm not overly happy with that. I don't know why it's doing that, but you know, it's not the symmetry that I was hoping for. But I suppose what we could do is to make it more symmetrical, we could Eh, no, let's undo all of that. Yeah, I think we'll just have to leave it like that for now. I think... I don't think we're going to get it any better than that. And I'm not as experienced in playing this game enough yet to know exactly how to go about solving this issue. So, alright. But that is the base of our part. Now, let's just ensure uh, that we have... Uh, our park entrance the right way, which we do. 
awesome sauce. Right. Okay, what do we want to do now? We want to do a building for the park entrance. Now, we'll look at some of the blueprints, see what they've got. Festive, fairy tales, sci fi. Oh my lord. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work for us. I'm not going to lie. We might need to do our own little thing here. That is okay. Uh, Tom just says, hi. Hello, my friend. How are you? How are you this fine evening, morning, wherever you are joining us from the world today? All right. Let's see um, how we can go about doing this. Okay, we need some walls. Uh, gonna admit, guys, I'm not the best builder, so bear with me. I can do what I can do, and yeah, I can do what I can do. Right, we want wall pieces, um, content packs, uh, scenery theme. Uh, da, 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 da. let us material I reckon uh, what do we want to use not vinyl plastic not wood I mean Actually, quite, actually, to be really honest, I quite like the look of these natural wood planks. Uh, Tom just says, I'm good. You, I am doing uh, very well today. It's a, Well, you know, it, it's it been a crap day if you're a Ferrari fan like me. But it's been a solid day otherwise. So, can't complain. Um, right. Um, let us start building what is going to be our park entrance. Okay. Right. We're going to have to bring it over here. Uh, again, we want the symmetry. So bring it around. Uh, yeah, not a great day if you're a Ferrari fan, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. All right, uh, shift up. Okay, let's, yeah, let's start with that for now. Uh, Tom says, uh, do you work in the Ferrari park? Uh, if you mean what, have I been to the Ferrari theme park? The answer is no, unfortunately. I've not been to uh, Abu Dhabi. I got this at the Australian Grand Prix earlier this year. I was uh, fortunate enough um, to go. Um, uh, yeah, I, I was very, very uh, happy and fortunate enough to go. Actually, th we want that there. I think. Uh, yes, there, there we go. Ah, now we're starting to get places. Haha. -ha. Uh, yeah, I was very fortunate enough to go to the Australian Grand Prix this year, and that's where I got the shirt. Unfortunately, it is technically last year's Ferrari merch. However, the drivers wear it, you know, in countries that don't allow tobacco advertising because for some reason they think that Mission Winnow is tobacco advertising, even though I don't understand how it is, but yeah. Uh, Tom follows up with the entrance. Looks good. Thank you very much, my friend. It's not done yet, so, you know, let's, let's, let's reserve some judgment until it's finished, but I appreciate the compliment very much. Right, I think... Um... got to yeah if we bring that over here in 
Oops. Uh, we want it to go. Is there? Ah, there we go. What we want. Oh, it's a little too high. Beautiful. Uh, Tom says, sorry for my English and follows up with, I'm from Germany, by the way. Oh, man, that's cool. I've always wanted to go to Germany. I'm, I'm fascinated by uh, Germany. I wanted to learn German at high school. Unfortunately, they um, um, didn't offer it. Um... Yeah, I've, I've always been fascinated by Germany. It's, su it's such a fascinating country for me. Don't know why, I just find it incredibly, incredibly fascinating. Uh, Tom says, what's the delay? Uh, in regards, if you're referring to the delay in terms of uh, answering your messages, uh, nothing, uh, probably a combination of me focusing on what the hell's going on uh, with... Um, uh, yeah, a combination of me focusing on what the hell's going on in game with, um, uh, uh da, 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 da. yeah, it's probably just me focusing on, on, on the game, my friend. So I do try, I will try to answer your chats as fast as possible. We need tiles at this point, don't we? Let's worry about roofs a little bit later on. Let's just focus on the core part of the building at the moment. One meter. Nope. Now that's probably where we do want a roof piece or Um, uh, Tom says, do I write in German? Um, I prefer you wouldn't. Uh, I do have an established rule which asks that you please do uh, speak in English on the uh, chat, please. So if we can just keep that rule applicable, that would be uh, much appreciated, my friend. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, rotate. Ah, I see what, uh, I see what's wrong here. Aha! We'll need to do that on the other side as well. Alright, everything's starting to come together quite well. We are slowly getting there. Right. Do the same thing over here. Okay. All right. Everything's starting to come along quite nicely. Right. Ooh. Oh. Issue. Okay. What we can do is do that. Got one that fills up a bit more space there. That's slightly annoying, but oh well. Let's 
actually starting to think that... Let's have a look at roofs. We need brick. None of these are brick. That's frustrating. Wood plank, natural wood plank, or top slope left. Why offer this really nice roof material? Yeah. Uh, uh, did you were uh, Tom says did you were uh, Tom just says do you were in a gym park yet? Uh, unfortunately, my friend. I can't understand what you are saying are We really gonna have to like There's really no roof pieces for that that's kind of shit Okay, uh, get that in there. Actually, when you put it like that, it actually doesn't look that bad. It kind of starts to work. It starts to work at that point, doesn't it? That is good news. Okay, probably at this point, I'm thinking... Probably have like another... We go... Like that, and then we just have like another rise or something another light rise as per usual i get the roofs mixed up oh wait on have I even got them in the right place? The answer's no. Can't build a roof properly if we do not get it in the right place, my friends. That's wrong. Camera controls in this game are a little bit of a pain, but that's okay. All right, now we're starting to get places. is now starting to come together quite well. 
not fully exactly where I want it yet, but... It's okay, it will be once we're done. Probably go for a full-on wall there. Okay, right, again, we'll need a full-on wall here. Then we'll just need to fill in. So I'll figure out what to do with that in a minute. Right, what we need right now is flat. Have we not got. Have we really got not got wood that like fits in with that style? Wow, we really don't. Oh wait, no, we're not using modern wood, are we? We are using... We're using natural wood. Wow! But can we not like... Hello, what's that? Can we not like... Flip it? That's really weird to me. We'd have to use different woods. To build this building is incredibly bizarre to me. But, I suppose you have to do what you gotta do. Yeah, that's gonna be slightly annoying, but as I said, unfortunately right now there's nothing we can do. Is what it is. Oh, but that is the tile, though. We need it to go down the shallower angle. Let's go at a far shallower angle. Then it just doesn't match. That's annoying. Parts of the roof starting to come together. Oh god. Oh, we can't have that. Uh, 
Um, do that, I think. That's really frustrating because that just looks so wrong. But there's literally nothing we can do. First of all, we still need to change these pieces here. Whoa, whoa, that's the wrong fucking material. Because it doesn't even fit in with the colors or anything. Or the design. Nothing about this wood that just works with what we're trying to do. Makes it look shit. All right. Um, um. Right, let's 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 not try to complain so much. About it. Let's just try to make it the best we can with what we've got. I just have to get rid of this part. Just do something different. Unfortunately, it's annoying, but all we can do at the moment. Yep. No! Aim. Half my parts. Alright. 
So, where's the overhang? Um, go. You know, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Really? Uh, yeah. Better than nothing, but it wasn't what I was exactly hoping for. But, you know, I suppose at this point, you know, all we can do is make the best of a bad situation. And that's what I intend to do. Anyway. Uh, no, we're not. We don't want modern wood. Natural. El Natural. And then we need that part. Little, uh, do we want two meter piece? No, we want the one meter piece. Okay, right, so it's it's somewhat starting to come together. Just need to build the roof on this part. And then I've got to figure out what to do between. between the two buildings also I've got to build them down so they actually properly sit correctly um, right roofs 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 Beautiful, right. Okay, quickly let's just fill out these walls. Make it as if the building actually properly built into the the ground There's people looking in are gonna notice this stuff if this was real life people would want to know you know I would want to know well you guys would as well you know? it actually there oops
All right. Uh, we'll have to raise to the, the terrain. This section. Slightly. Beautiful. Probably do the same here as well, just to fill that in. All right, okay. Now, before I start adding more decorative features to these buildings, I need to decide what the hell to do. Uh, hold on, I got to add. Building. Why the hell we're so far fucking down? I have no idea. Alright. Now, we can probably add... Like, holy shit, why are those arches so massive? actually get rid of that wall there that wall there back in the four meter wall here Okay, uh... Alright, next, 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 next. We're probably going to fill that up with scenery so it'll look a bit more fascinating. I'm just trying to decide if I bother to connect those two buildings or if I just kind of leave it like that. Maybe have something down the middle of the lake in the middle. Might be the better option, really. I'm not overly happy with a lot of these accents, but in a way, the more I kind of look at it, the more it kind of does accent the design. There's a couple I don't particularly like, like here, that really is annoying. Um, but I suppose I could try this. If I was to... A, a one meter piece. Okay, it didn't end up doing anything. Damn. Okay, I was hoping that would actually do something. All right. Yeah, no. Okay, so I will add some windows and shit to them in a minute. And of course... Alright, so what I will do now is let us add a little bit of... Um, what have we got? We've got... Props. Scenery theme. I don't know if Western... 
What do I want to go for? But I do like the look of these. I just turn the angle snapping off though. Just to give us a bit more control over how to place these. Same thing on the inside. Grab a single one so we can run the tighter corner. Beautiful. Right, let's do the same thing on the other side. Change slight little adjustments is what is going to make the yeah. And once it's done, it will actually look somewhat decent. Right, beautiful. Okay, same thing on the other side again. That. Double one for a bit, and then use a single one. Beautiful, right, there we go, and what I'll do is, uh, give me a rock. Going like that, it be as if it was there. Awesome. Place a few rocks on the outskirts there. All right, let's take a little back up and see what we've done so far. All right, so we have started work on the entrance of our park. Again, a little bit more work still to be done on the entrance, adding a few little features here and there, but I think for the most part it's coming along quite nicely. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Right, just take a quick um, little thirst break. All right, so, right, where are we? Right, okay, so 
If you are just joining the stream, welcome along. Tonight we are starting the first part in our Planet Coaster series. Um, so what we've done so far over the past hour, we've built up this little entrance area. Um, had a few little complications in terms of uh, the way that Planet Coaster's building uh, works, but we have found ways to overcome those issues, so we're currently working to continue to beautify our little entrance way here. Now, I want something that will um you know what I want? I want oh, okay, that's a little larger than what I was hoping. Wouldn't happen to have a smaller one by any chance, would you? Uh, what I want is... columns, and I want some stone ones at that. Some basic, like, cobblestone columns. Uh, no, not that. Classic brick, no, I want stone. Look like we've got stone. We've got stone framework. Okay, I was hoping that that would be vertical, but it is not. Okay, the idea I had in my head is not fully going to plan in the way that I'd hoped. Alright, guys, I just have to take a quick bathroom break. I shall be back in about five minutes. Please do stick around. Uh, when we come back, we will try to finish up our little entrance area. Um, yeah, try to finish up a little entrance area and, uh, yeah, maybe, hopefully, maybe build a ride. Don't know if we'll be able to do the little design on it, but yeah, so I will be back in a wee little minute.
All right, we are back, everybody. Sorry for the little break. Just had to, as I said, just quickly go bathroom. I hope everyone enjoyed that quick little uh, break from things. All right, so we're going to get back into it. All right, so. Do you think they need to go the other way around? All right, so what I'm trying to do is it doesn't seem like it wants to work. Okay, I want to fill in the spaces there. I'm trying to think how to do it. Let's have a look at what we've got in scenery. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, but right. Ah, here we go. Need to be able to see what the hell I'm doing. Crates might be a way to create a little bit of dynamacy the entrance. a wood plank there. Beautiful. Right. We have done editing the building. Let's go back to the crates. Uh... Right, same deal as the other side. Use the crates to kind of create a little dynamic little scene here. frame rate truck chug not good all right then what else can we do a lot of stuff in this game in terms of just pure choice um 
Holy crap. How do I do... Ah, there we go. Right, then we want to... Whoops, no, with that one. It's amazing just how detailed you can go in this game, honestly. Right, if we literally... How do I copy both of them? Um, what else do we want to do in here? Um, theme Western. Really, where the crates came from. Uh, let's. Not to say that the park will be a Western theme. But I think by having some sort of theme at the beginning, um, and, and the thing that I'm thinking of is as we build up the park, we'll be able to do different themes. So maybe it starts in a Western theme, and then maybe you go off and it goes to a space theme, or, you know, what do we got? Space you know, pirate, fairy tale, you know, we can do different themes, you know, across, across the place. Um, that is at least what I have in my head. Um, so, yeah, I'm not so worried really about the theme. Uh, Much. Actually, we might just continue the fences through here as well. All right. Beautiful. All right, and then we can do the same thing over here. Fill in fences. Use the small fences awesome right other side Awesome source, right. Okay, now let's do the rest of the design in here. So, kind of somewhat try to mimic the design of 
what we have over the other side. Oh, actually, maybe not. Actually, no. Let's... Ooh. Okay. No. We don't want that. But what we might actually do is... If we get a minecart, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> actually, then again, though, I dare of actually having it in the ground. It's actually probably quite cool. You kind of wonder what the hell happened to it. And if you actually have another one. Kind of is over here a little bit. Kind of wonder what happened to these two minecarts. And then if we just color the terrain. But like so, here we go. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, now what we want to do is we will want to get some lights. Um, we got like some sort of hanging light. We can hang off the. If I can spell light, that would help. Uh, something that... No, uh, not oriental. Something that fits in with the theme. I think, yeah, that would do. Oops, wrong. Right, do the same and just move it over to the other side. Right, move it back. Bit more forward, beautiful. Then same deal. Just move it to the other side here. Beautiful. Right then, do is. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, all we need to do is do the same thing over here. That down a little bit so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Let's move and duplicate. Thing, move it over here. Rotate it round. And 
Move it across. Awesome. Right. I think that pretty much wraps up the entrances to the park. For the most part. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it kind of sums up pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. There's design in there. You know, we've done a little bit with different elements. And I think that kind of is a good kind of first thing. Right. Before we end the stream for the night, we'll keep working on the entrance in the next part. Um, but let's, for the next half an hour, start work on um, this main block of shops and facilities. Um, so let's kind of choose... Okay, so first of all, let's get a couple of toilets. Um, we should turn on a grid. Turn on a grid. Alright, um, let us, okay, so what do we want? We want a toilet, and then we also want an information. Information, there we go. Right, stick that there. Right, then we got some room for a whole bunch of stores here. We won't do, uh, well, oh yes it will, brilliant. Okay, so let's do pizza. Let's do soda, because drinks are important, and then let's do ice cream on that side and then that's one side and then on the other side same sort of deal we'll have a bathroom and then an information here and then again same deal we'll do a juice a a monsieur fries a hot dog squad right okay now we need to do the buildings right so Click building, right, edit, okay, right, now, we're going to do a very neutral planet coaster look for or maybe not because it doesn't seem to want to let us do that. All right, uh, we want painted walls. Not gingerbread, not castle. Should be like concrete here somewhere. And all. Sure we can change the color of these. Um, right, let us, okay, so, we will obviously change the color of these, because these are fucking ugly color. For now, let us start building out various stalls. You'll kind of see the design I'm going for here as we continue to build. this little gem. Right. 
Um, actually, no, don't want the wall there. Then we need panel walls, like so. Right, then what we want to do is... So my intent with this is to do something that looks a little like... Now... Hopefully this will look good. I don't know if this will look good or not, which is really why I'm hoping it does. Uh... Actually, I don't even think I want that. I kind of... Now, we'll need to ensure that there's actually... Now, let me just do this. If I... If I edit this building here... Same idea. I really hope this works. Oh, this might work. But it will all depend on the roof. We need a curved roof. This might work. Oh, this could end up working the way that I wanted it to. Oh, don't save it as blueprints not finished yet. Holy crap. Let's get some roofs on. Fold. Why not even if we just uh hold on if I go to walls? God, it's working. L's, yes, right. Then, what we can do is...
obviously though can be the entry to all the different respective stores ah we need there Hey, 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 hey! It actually doesn't look... I thought the white would look terrible. It actually doesn't once you kind of add in the steel and all that. It actually kind of works. Alright, what we want to do is... Window, but we want a window that actually fucking suits what we're going for here. And it's not that. better than a plastic window. Right, uh, advanced move and duplicate. It looks about the same distance from one another, doesn't it? Right, now I need to do the same on the other side. Rotate it round. Mm, hold on. That one needs to move. All but slightly, I think. That way. Awesome. Right. Now, only thing left to do is two things. Number one, I want to do the signs for the different stores. So that's a pizza pen. Can I, uh, advance move? Can I scale it down? Uh... Just get rid of that. What's the pizza pins? Oh, that's better. Right, then here we've got a soda. Wow, that's big. Okay, the game shouts out whatever fucking uh, thing you're doing. Okay, that's a cosmic cow. versions of this sign. Oh, that's too big. That's better. Jesus Christ. Information. Alright. Awesome. Right. We will just add as well uh, windows to Awesome. Okay. Right. So that is 
I would say that building pretty much done. So now I just have to replicate it on the other side. Oh, we need to do the doors at the back. Okay, we can do that. Now the good thing is that because of the fact that Oh, hello. Right, just door there. Door there. Door there. And a door there. Awesome. Right. Okay, now the only thing left to do is the lights. Now we want to hang the lights. From the roof lights. Okay, we want to hang it from the roof. Um. Okay, what do we got? Fiberglass light cylinder. That looks like something that would hang from a roof, but that looks way too big. That looks wrong. <laughs> that, <laughs> yes. No. No. Um. Whoa, that's large. Oh, but this might work. Ooh, if I can see it. All right, let's move it to the end of the building. All right, then let's kind of just move it down a couple each time. go about it in a different way yeah so we kind of go every one and a half ish maybe one and a bit more of a half ish maybe one and three quarters ish Clearly not. Um, let us go. What about every two? That might be the way to go. Oops. Uh, so yeah, but then we don't. Maybe we go every two and a bit. Just, try, just kind of move everyone down until like seems like there's a decent distance between each one Is 
that looks that looks correct ish right that'll do all right so now we have to replicate that on the other side what a what a thrilling conversation um all right so edit rid of that right now we need to build all the foundations of this building Stick that one up there. Beautiful. Okay, right. Walls. Oops. Too far. go the more i keep realizing i haven't spoken anything about e3 yet and which is funny because i thought to myself that i would just be going on and on and on all stream about e3 but i'm kind of really focused on making everything look good i definitely think games like this probably more on the difficult side to stream because you really have to you know not only focus on what you're doing but also engage but yeah, you kind of see what I'm doing now. So I suppose now is the best time to talk a little bit about E3 and my thoughts about it uh, after day one of the press conferences. And this is what I'll say. For the majority, I'm underwhelmed so far. Usually by this point in the experience you know, from the Bethesda and the Microsoft conference, I usually have a solid list of games that, you know, I'm looking forward to. But this year, it's not the case. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Sony isn't at E3. I think my e my excitement for E3 this year has dwindled massively because Sony have decided not to participate in E3. It doesn't mean by any stretch of the imagination that someone like Nintendo or, you know, um, or Ubisoft or Square Enix can win, quote unquote, win the cop, you know, win the show for me. But I definitely do feel a lack of just quality games, really. And I don't know why, because there's nothing to suggest about this e3 that it's kind of lacking in the ways that you would expect if anything it's been so far a fairly solid showing from bethesda and microsoft um so let's start with bethesda we'll go backwards because bethesda is more fresh in my mind wait i've done that the wrong way haven't i yes i have but this is more fresh in my mind. I watched that last, you know, it was obviously the later press conference of the day. Bethesda for me was disappointing. Um, I think as 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 a as a conference, it wasn't terrible from the you know from the standpoint of what a current E3 press conference is expected to be. But what I will say about E3 this year is that my overall takeaway from it was that I felt very much that I honestly felt to myself after watching Bethesda's Bethesda should have just skipped having a conference this year really 
they didn't have enough, I think, to warrant having a conference. Now, that's just personal opinion. You may feel differently. I'm not a massive Doom fan either, so I think that, for me, is a reason why I'm kind of, like, neither here nor there on the conference. I feel if I was a larger Doom fan, it would be a little different, but I played the 2016 Doom and just, like, did not really enjoy it, which is funny because, you know, if you are a returning viewer, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of Halo, you know, Halo... You know, it very much fits into that Halo vibe of being a fast-paced shooter. But yeah, there was just something about Doom that I just did not enjoy. And, you know, it's a shame because, you know, Doom, by any stretch of the imagination, wasn't a terrible game. It wasn't bad. Just didn't really do it for me. Don't know why. Anyway. So... What I will say, though, what I did like about the conference is this. Um, yeah, what I did like about the conference was this. Um, Blades on Switch, I will check out. You know, it's free. I'm not going to download the game early, um, you know, on mobile and play it and then just carry my progression over. No, thank you. I'd, I'd much rather just play it for free when it comes out on Switch this fall. Um, but the other thing about the game, about Blades, that doesn't really interest me. Uh, the other thing about Blades, though, is that, you know, second out, you know, it's the second Elder Scrolls game for Switch. You know, and starting to wonder a little bit if you know bethesda you know kind of feel that i i wonder if they're not taking the switch seriously as i said like it's the second you know It's really the second, um, yeah, it's the second Elder Scrolls game that they're releasing for Switch, and I do kind of feel that part of me feels a little bit like Bethesda are not taking the Switch seriously. They're giving all kind of the rejects to it. Admittedly... Because I think for me, like, Blades, why not release it on Xbox or PS4? Why only put it on Switch? I understand that it's more a mobile game and it probably will run on Switch, you know, well and it kind of fits that need. But yeah, I just, I, my feeling was kind of always that, you know, with Blades, you know, Blades was always a, a means to an end. It was a stopgap for people who weren't invest like who were skyrim fans who weren't invested enough to bother to play elder scrolls online but were anxious enough to play something elder scrolls related whilst they wait for elder scrolls 6 that's what i always thought blades was but yeah so overall for me bethesda was quite disappointing i wasn't overly that happy with it but i think that you know I'm looking forward to Wolfenstein Youngblood, and I do want to play Prey, um, and uh, Fallout 76 is having a free week starting Wednesday, as I said at the beginning of the stream, so there's a potential that I might do a Fallout 76 stream, but yeah, I don't know, man. I'm really... It, to me, after that, I was like, Bethesda shouldn't have had a conference this year. They should have just done some trailers... Or had done what they did uh, a couple years ago and where they did like that whole video thing the entire time where there wasn't like any people on stage. It was just in a video the entire time. I think that was the same year that they announced Evil Within 2 and Wolfenstein 2. So yeah. Anyway. Um, right. Before we talk about Xbox, let's quickly look what we've done so far on the stream. Right. So in our first couple hours of planet coaster we have built our little entrance area and we have built a little food area 
The only thing left to do here is to put signs up, which we need to do. Right, so let's do that quickly whilst we talk about Xbox. Xbox, 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 Xbox. Um, what can I say about Xbox? This is what I'll say about Xbox. For me, the, is, the Xbox conference was... That is a fry store, right? Frights. Jesus Christ. Um... The Xbox conference for me was better than um, Bethesda. But I still don't feel that it was the best it could. Um, obviously, we got the announcement of the new Xbox. And, you know, I'll get one. You know, day one. I'll get the new Xbox day one. No issue. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, sound effects says, yay coasters. Yes, indeed, my friend, coasters. Always a good time. And lucky for you, we've got a six part series beginning tonight um, with planet coaster so make sure you're tuning in um yeah we're going to be doing a six part planet coaster series over the next couple of weeks so yeah right so here's what we got so far i'm liking it at the beginning of our next stream We'll improve a little bit the feng shui, so to speak, of the entrance here. And we'll start adding in some rides. But for the moment, I'm quite happy. So um, very quickly before the end of the stream, I just uh, quickly want to cover Xbox um, its conference. So yeah, we saw the new... We, they got the announcement of the new Xbox, which I, which I knew that they were going to do it exactly in the same way that they did um, with the Scorpio, that they would announce the console a year in advance and then release it next year. It would be the code name it wouldn't be the official name blah 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 so you know i will be pre-ordering one day one because halo is coming out with the xbox scarlet um i'm expecting the console to be expensive because if they're rifling off all these things and all these impressive features it's going to be an expensive console so yeah um other things cool things from the xbox conference quickly um xbox game pass for pc really really cool um i i downloaded before the stream the new uh xbox um app for pc um uh which is going to be really cool because it's going to allow me to play uh surviving mars which is a um another simulation game on pc as well as metro exodus which is a game i've been wanting to play for a while um so yeah, quite quite a uh, a few uh, cool games here on um, Xbox Game Pass on PC. Um, they're giving away Ultimate at the moment for a dollar, which includes Xbox Game Pass on console, PC, and Xbox Live Gold. So I highly recommend you go get that for a month. Just check out some games, play some games. If you've got an Xbox One, um, you know I think you'll really get some value out of that over the next month. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else uh, was cool from the Xbox conference? Um, Halo Infinite looked really, really cool. Loved some of the sound cues in the trailer, some of the music. As an old school Halo fan who's been playing since the first game, uh, really made me bring a little smile to my face when I heard those familiar sound cues from the first game. That was really, really cool. Um, new Tales game. Looking forward to that. Um, the Return of Microsoft Flight Simulator is awesome. Uh, me and Sean, who you may uh, know from Minecraft streams, we're big fans of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's coming to Xbox One, which I'm actually really happy about because that's probably the platform I'll play it on. Um, and the reason being is the I'll play it on Xbox One is because it'll probably be easier than playing it on PC. It'll probably be better adjusted. Uh, and of course, uh, one thing, the Forza Horizon 4 Lego expansion 
um i will be doing a stream of that on thursday which i think is the day it comes out so we will be doing a stream of that so tune in for that um it'll either be thursday or friday we stream that so do tune in for that it's gonna you're gonna be getting quite a few extra streams this week potentially with fallout 76 and uh forza horizon 4 expansions um yeah so you're gonna be getting quite a few bonus streams this week you lucky lucky chaps um Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is the start of the stream. Got this today. Jack 3 on PS4 uh, from Limited Run Games. So I now have the entire Jack Trilogy physical. So that was pretty cool. Um, what else from Xbox uh, quickly before I wrap up the stream? Um, uh, hold on, let me check my list of games. Every, every E3 I write a list of games down of games I want. Oh, Lego Star Wars, uh, the Star, the um, Skywalker Saga looked really cool. Um, I'll definitely be getting that. But yeah, and Minecraft Dungeons looks really dope. Um, that's a new Minecraft game that got announced today. That looks really, really dope. So really looking forward to that. Uh, and we'll definitely be looking to do some streams with that, even some multiplayer streams with you fine folk out there. So make sure you stick around for that. But yeah, um, overall so far with this E3, I'm actually relatively disappointed. I'm hoping tomorrow uh, might be better um with uh ubisoft limited run the kind of funny game showcase square Enix, and the pc gaming show so tomorrow will probably be a lot better for me in terms of the games that i want but we'll see ultimately we'll have to wait and see uh tomorrow so anyway yes right i'm gonna wrap this up thank you very much for watching guys uh the first part of our six part planet coaster series we will be returning tomorrow again 7 p.m uh, new zealand time for part two of our planet coaster series hopefully we'll get to start building some rides start expanding the park a little bit more uh and all that and also recap some of uh tomorrow's e3 developments as well um make sure uh if you are new guys make sure you consider giving a follow and maybe even a subscribe if you're returning make sure you share the channel get more people in it's greatly greatly appreciated um make sure you go follow me on various social media platforms that you can see here imagine i'm patting it on the head um yeah and add me on the various gaming platforms at bud4211 um and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the stream thank you for everybody who watched live um it's great to chat with some of you uh tonight so yeah i shall see you guys tomorrow night but until until then guys farewell <laughs>